Welcome to Take a Deep Breath. Today's breath cast is with Josef Kerbel. Um, Josef is an Austrian world record holder for spending the most amount of time up to his shoulders in ice. And he recently, in the last few weeks, broke his own world record to spend more than two and a half hours submerged in ice cubes. Um, it was such a pleasure and honor to, to interview um, Josef. And I must say, out of all of the guests I've had, he might be the nicest person I've ever spoken to in the world. So humble, no detection of any sort of ego, just a lovely, lovely man and a lovely conversation. Um, and I really wanted to know what drove him. Why does he want to do these things like going to us? What made him want to break his own ice record? So in this breath cast, he will talk to us about kind of where, how he got to where he got to, his time in the military, um, and then how he basically got to be this person that we see on the news today that, you know, spent two and a half hours I think, I can't remember the exact Wim Hof uh, ice time. I think it was like one hour, 53 minutes. And Yosef even goes on to say, because I'm not trying to really break anybody else's world record because I'm just trying to do it for me. Um, and again, it's just, just another sign of it's just a lovely person. So I hope you enjoy this podcast even half as much as I did speaking to this chap. It was, it was really, really lovely. A um, couple of quick messages before we get stuck into it. Um, if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe and share. It helps grow our message and spread the community. We have new breathwork videos out every Monday as well, different breathing exercises. So if you're here for the breath cast, you might actually think, oh, I might want to try a couple of these different breathing exercises, go in and check the back catalogue because there's loads now. We've got over 113 videos um, and vast majority of those are different breathing exercises. And if you're here just to learn about breathing and, and wellness and all that sort of thing, then stay tuned for this uh, for this breath cast. And, and remember, we also release these audibly as well. So if you want to just stick it on a podcast, you can go into iTunes or Spotify or wherever you find your, your podcasts uh, and we'll be there as a a breath cast as well. Anyway, enough yakking from me. Let's hear from Yosef and let's get cracking with the breath cast. Cheers. <sighs> okay, so so uh, Yosef, thank you so much for being on the Take a Deep Breath breath cast. It's a real honor to have you here. And I, I want to start by saying congratulations on setting a new world record for the longest time in ice. Uh, how long was your world record? Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you that I'm uh, on your podcast. Uh, my world record was uh, 2 hours, 30 minutes and 53 seconds um, until my shoulders in ice cubes. Wow. How, I'm going to ask you straight away, how do you do this? Please tell me, how did you start and how do you spend that time. Can you tell me what your, uh, let's start at the beginning. How did you begin to find ice? Where did that begin from? Oh, that was uh, about 10 years ago. I, um, I read in a, in a newspaper that uh, there is a swim marathon in, in near of my hometown and the competition was 9K. So I was not a good swimmer. I never learned swimming uh, so real. Um, I did a few small, uh, triathlons and, and so on, but uh, I was not a good swimmer. So I trained three weeks for that competition. I, I wear a, a wetsuit at this time. Well, I bought it a few days before I, I went to the competition. And uh, I finished that competition. Um, 9K is not that uh, small a race when you start to swim, but it was uh, such a good feeling when you swim outside and make your stroke and uh, yeah. You can think on all about you you want to to think and uh, in the end when i went out uh, i saw my sister and i said if that's so easy to swim 9k with approximately three weeks training mm. i will do the english channel too okay so wow. this was um big words big words but uh, uh, i followed them and I, I told everyone i want to do the english channel at this time there were no one who did the english channel before only one woman, but this was uh, about in the in the years where the Second World War was, and uh, we we didn't know if she's she was a German or Austrian. We didn't know, so yeah, you know, I trained for that. And on the way uh, to the British to the English Channel, a lot of people said you had to train in cold water because uh, the English Channel has I don't know 15, 16, 17 degree. Yeah. So it's not possible to do it uh, when you only train in warm water. So 
they say went into the cold the whole winter that's a, a good thing and i started to to go into the cold water but i didn't move i didn't swim i only was inside and after a few weeks i said that's that could not be right i had to swim and then i started to swim and the water temperature was about 12 degree then nine so and then i thought um, um what can i do in the cold because i like the cold and then i saw the ice swimming association and the winter swimming association and then my first goal was do the ice mile and then go to the to the winter swimming world championship to rovaniemi so that was my first goal for the world first winter wow and i did both and then five years after i started to swim i did the british the english channel wow that's incredible. So that's in short form, uh, the, the whole, the whole uh, story. <laughs> when you were a child, could you, were you okay with cold or, or not? Yes, I, I grew up in the mountains in Grundlsee. It's typically in the middle of Austria. So all around the mountains and I lived on a, on a lake, Lake Grundlsee, very beautiful. And uh, yes, the water temperature in summer was also not so warm, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I never went in in winter, so I was falling in some sometimes, yes, uh, uh, a few years. So, <laughs> and um, yeah, but uh, so I hadn't got a problem with the cold. Normally, okay, as a normal child, you know, in, in the in the Alps. Okay. Yes, you you had some practice when you were growing up. Yes, yes. Okay, so we've had some <laughs> technical issues, guys. My internet, I don't know, so we're. We've stopped and we're starting again. Um, so, so we talked about you as a child being in the cold. And then we talk about you swimming the English Channel. What happened after the after you did the swim? What happened next for you? After the English Channel, I had a, a few months which um, I didn't know what I have to do. So I fall a little bit in a in a hole, in a mental hole, because uh, I have no goal, no further goal. So, so I had to find my, my way, what I want to do in the next time. And uh, yeah, I, f I found it. So I said the next uh, channel is uh, the Irish channel um, from Donaghadee to Port Patrick in Scotland. So it was a big goal and I had to train more and go more in the cold. And as, as more I, I went into the cold, as much uh, I loved it. So. Uh, uh, as more I loved it. So, um, and uh, yeah, then I tried to swim uh, the Irish Channel, but uh, the weather was not on my side, and um, and also the the stream was not on my side. So seven k before uh, Port Patrick, uh, I had to go out after fifteen hours in uh, thirteen point five degree, wow. and uh, because uh, if I want to swim to Port Patrick, I had to do another 10 hours and that might be too much um, i had a i swallowed also a small capsule uh, which uh, measured my inner body temperature and after all i uh, i shown that uh, the tablet uh, of of the the measurement and it says that i had uh, 33.8 degree when i uh, when I, I stopped and after I went out on the boat, uh, it, it was falling down to 32 degree. So because of the shivering and no swimming and, uh, but this was only for six minutes. And then in a, I don't know, an hour I had normally or one hour 50, I had a normal temperature. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a problem, but also I, I did a lot with the cold and I know my body can do a lot. And yeah, so I'm here. Wow. And so you, Go for the record now. So you you've done the Irish Channel and the, you come back. What makes you then go? Okay, I want to now go and sit in ice for many hours. Why? why where did that challenge come from? Yeah, it was a uh, um, easy to tell you. Um, uh, one famous Austrian um, enter entrepreneur. Uh, she she had a. Um, Yes, she had a, a small, fine uh, um, show in Austria, mm -hmm. and they're always sitting a few guys there, and she asked them anything, and and she asked me also, 
are you able to come to me, speak with us a little bit over your mental thing and so on? I said, no, I don't want to sit there only to talk with you. So it's, it's, for me, it's boring. And after a while, she, she asked me again, um, what can we do that you will come? And I said, mm, no problem. Put the bath there and I will sit in and uh, fill it uh, with ice. Okay. And she said, um, we had to think about that because it's all about uh, assurance and so on. And uh, it's not so easy in the television. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, Thomas Gottschalk in Germany with Wet and Das, he had that big accident with oh. the, the one guy's neck was broken and so on. And uh, she don't want to have a, a dead person in her TV show. So Okay. <laughs> okay. After a few days, uh, she said, yeah, we will do it. No problem. But I, did, I never did it before. So, <laughs> but I know I, I can do it uh, or I could do it. And then uh, I trained a little bit with, uh, with cool packs on my body. And that was it only a few days before. But it was also in January. So my normal time to swim in, in the cold outside. Yes. And then I went to that TV show and uh, I was in for more than one hour and 10 minutes. Okay. So then I said, okay, that was fine. Probably very stale road record. Can I do it? Then I, I heard before that uh, Wim Hof did it also. And uh, then I looked into the Guinness Book of Records and who, who is now the leader and so on. And I saw the Chinese one, Song yes. Hao Chin, and uh, with one hour 54, anything. And uh, I think Wim Hof had one hour 53, 40 or so. Okay. And I said, okay, I don't want, don't want to beat them. I want to set a goal for me. And I said, okay, I want to do two hours. That's okay. Uh, a new time. Uh, yeah. And then uh, before that, I trained three months for that mm -hmm. because it was in summer and it was not too easy uh, to mm -hmm. train because this summer was very hot. We had on the day of the competition, 34 degree. And um, so before I trained also only with cool packs and um, yeah, two small ice baths before and um, I was swimming also in a glacier inside in that glacier channel where I'm always training with guys and yeah then I went into that ice box and did two hours and eight minutes um, after two hours we said okay I can do more normally yeah. then I, I did a little bit more and after two hours and five minutes we said okay it's enough also, the, the journalists were a little bit nervous and so, okay. because they didn't know when I will stop then and so on. I said, okay, stop now. And, uh, and we had fun and it's okay. I did it. Yeah. And then we had problems with the door, <laughs> to open the door. <laughs> and so it, after all, it was uh, two hours and eight minutes. <laughs> so yeah, but it, so it extended because you couldn't get out. <laughs> yeah. <for sure. laughs> Brilliant. That was fun in the end. Wow. So... And then you set the world record and then you did it again a few weeks ago. You For went sure. and did longer. Why, why did you go back and do it again? So my first goal was the two hours. I did two hours and eight minutes and I saw it is more possible. More is possible for me. Mm -hmm. And so I said, okay, try it again and have a look how long I will do. And but then I said, uh, okay, I will set a new goal. It's easier for me to set a new goal instead of I will do as long as I will or can. Because I also have family and uh, it is not fine for them that uh, I will sit or stand inside the box as long as I can. So that was not fine for all my, my, my family and, and the friends. And then I said, okay, two hours 30. Um, that's 22 minutes more than last time. Mm -hmm. Might be a long time. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, then I trained a little bit harder and it works. Yeah. Wow. I did it. <laughs> yeah, Joseph, you're, you're so, this is not a joke, you're so chilled, you're so relaxed. Yeah. And it's like, wow, because I'm, I'm so impressed because when I go into the cold shower, you know, I can go in and I relax, I do a couple of minutes. Or if I go into, uh, I'm, my, my girlfriend is from Poland. And so oh. in, the, in the winter, we go near Krakow and we go into the lake and the frozen lake mm. and I can, I mentally get prepared, but four, maybe five minutes, you know, is enough for me. 
how can you stay in there so long? Are you doing breathing techniques? Are you doing something with your mind? Are you able to like focus on warming the body or is it just something that happens naturally? Could you explain a little bit about what you do, how you do it? It's a little bit from all you explained. Um, so a few days before I did my, my world record, the new one, I did two baths two ice baths in, in my uh, bathroom. Mm -hmm. So the first war was on Tuesday. I was in in six degrees for one hour and 10 minutes. And on Wednesday, I was in, in also six degrees for one hour and 45 minutes. And so I knew that from, from my body side, it's possible to do two hours and 30 in, in the ice box. But how can I get that? How, how was my way to that, to that proficient? Um, I have some mental things which I, I decide to do. So that's about, I do anchor, you know, anchor, set an anchor. I did it with my finger. So okay. uh, over the, the training the whole year, always when I had a hard training and I had good emotions to that, I anchor it here. So I have a, a box of good emotions. Okay. And when, I, when I'm in, in the cold and I, I, I think that it's hard for me at the moment and I need some help, then I, I think, I thought about, think about that anchor and I put my needle on, on the finger and then I go into that box and take some good emotions out, right. which uh, helps me to fight against the pain. So that I, 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 I say to that, uh, it's about emotional management. Yes. Because you can work with your emotion. Um, also, it's in that kind that you are working against the pain. So in that ice box, pain is coming in waves. So it's not always the same pain because uh, sometimes it's going better and you know, sometimes it's going not so good. And, and when, when it's going up, so I had to concentrate me. And you know, when you're shivering, you need a lot of oxygen. Right. Because the body is burning inside and that needs, fire needs oxygen. And so you had to breathe a lot. But you had to breathe to your full lung because the, the pulse had not to go up. So it's only deep breathing and like that, that not the, the, the pulse is going up. So that you are very calm and, and uh, concentrating on that that you are very stable in breathing. Mm. Um, I don't know if anyone did the same, but it, it helps me for, for, to come over that. And with breathing and that uh, emotional thing, so I can go through that pain. Uh, but it sounds very easy. And if you, you had to do that all the time, when you go in for only two or three minutes, you had to do that always. And important is when you go out and you have that good emotion, then anchor it here and uh, next time it will be better. Wow. All right, so anchor. So this is you thinking uh, maybe you are with your family and you, you, you make a note to anchor that, mm -hmm. that good time. Mm -hmm. And then when you are struggling or suffering, mm -hmm. you, you do this, you trigger. Okay, that's interesting. And with one, of the, go ahead. one of the big uh, emotional things is the, the, the day of, the, of when the, my child were born. Were born. So that the big emotional things. So when nothing help, will help, I think about my, my, the birth of my, or the, 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 the my children, children were born. So right. that's very big emotion for me. Okay. So, so, and with the breathing, can you show me the breathing? Is it in, is it using the nose and the mouth or just the nose? What, what, what does, what sort of, and you say it's into the belly, deep breathing. What, what, what can you show me what you do or, or explain a bit more? It, it works into the belly. You know, the, more, the situation is that, that you are shivering yeah, mm. and you need oxygen. Mm. And normally, you, when you're concentrating, um, then my, my mouth is normally closed because I'm, I'm thinking on different things and I don't want to open my mouth. So I am breathing in with the nose. And you know, like, like divers, like apnoe divers, filling the belly and then filling the breast um, and do it long, and uh, you have to look at the pulse is not going up. So it's only easy. Okay. So it's completely normal. 
because um, you're shivering. And um, then with a good emotion, you go through that. And breathing is always important because if you have 100% oxygen in your body, your body feels good and your body is uh, able to work hard. Yes. But you know that. <laughs> when uh, you are in the ice, are there scientists, are they testing your pulse oximeter or are they looking at your body temperature? Do you have any uh, diagnostics of what's going on? I'd like to have that, uh, that small capsule again in my body, but uh, the capsule I think was too old and it didn't work. Uh, that was a problem. Mm. So uh, I have to speak with that company because uh, I had it only a, a few months, the capsule, and they didn't work. So it was a real pity, uh, real, uh, because I'd like to have that information also afterwards. I had a monitor there, so you can see it at the moment, what temperature I have. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was important that I can analyze it in the, in the end, because always when you have some mental problems, the temperature goes down. I saw it also in the North Channel. When I was swimming, the temperature went down when I had some mental problems. So, so mental thing and body temperature is very close together. They yes. work very close. And uh, when you are in the ice and you do the anchoring and that helps you feel better, what, what else are you thinking about in two and a half hours? Are you meditating? Are you talking to people? Are you present? What, what, what is going through your mind? Please, if you can explain a little. So the whole two hours and 30, I was very present because I had some headset on. So people from the, from the crowd could ask me there some things, what they want to want, uh, what they want to know. Then I got also a, a telephone call um, from uh, friends in Germany. They want to know um, how I'm feeling now. And uh, also some guys from, uh, uh, from Wim Hof, uh, they made um, a meeting on that day, a training. And they, they uh, made the, also the, the live uh, show on and, and were asking me something and um, it was, was nice. So I had a lot to do also and time went, went on very fast. But always when uh, uh, such a problem is coming, a mental problem or, or the cold, the pain, mm -hmm. so focused on, on my rhythm, the rhythm, which is the breathing, the rhythm with my mental things and the work against the pain. Mm. Okay. Sounds easy. <laughs> no, I, 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 when I go into uh, ice water, what mm. helps me is humor, funny jokes, uh, because mm. uh, I'm so like, oh, so I try and relax, but then I will be sarcastic or funny. And I, I suddenly, I'm not thinking about my pain anymore. I'm trying to you know, have a joke or have some banter with my friends. Uh, and that seems to make the time go a little bit easier, a little bit nicer um, and not take things too seriously has helped, but I've never done more than five minutes. So it's diff diff very different. Um, what do you want to do next? What, is it three hours or something different? What's your next challenge? Oh, I will do that with the icebox again. Yeah. Anywhere next year. But before I want to swim in a glacier in Tyrol, you know, the ice mile, the ice mile is 1,609.8 meter. And I want to do it in the glacier inside in a channel. And the channel is 70 meter. So um, there are 30 meter ice up and 30 meter ice down and it's, it's in a hole. So. Yes, the water temperature is between minus zero four degree and minus one degree. Mm. So I will be there half an hour inside swimming. In the water. <laughs> well, because yeah. water, it, please help me understand, water is different to ice. Because with ice, you have oxygen and air. Whereas when you're in the water, it takes a lot more heat from you because it's yeah. uh, like a sauna or steam is very different rooms. So. Uh, how long have you spent in cold water? Just, just you. That, that, have you done much training already? So oh, yes, with uh, within six degree, I was one hour forty five. That was the longest time. Mm. So this winter, I will do longer sessions in in cold water below five degree. So I also want to do a a very long swim this winter below five degree. So I don't want to say ice mile. I, I would say also a long endurance swim. So I think. 
hopefully it will it will work but uh, my training is on my focus is on 5k in below five degree yeah, so okay. i think the second uh, now the, the record is in um uh, three three k point six or so yeah. mm. but as i always say i don't want to beat anyone i yes. only will will beat my or will set my goal that's important that's fantastic uh, and yes, when and in the ice box probably i will do it in may or june in front of the european parliament because i'm i'm an activist in 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 for the glaciers in austria and all over the world but we have that problem in austria and in germany that the glaciers are going very fast and they're melting very very strong this winter mm. as also the the arctic this year so we are all on the same planet and we have to do something and my part will be show them um what could happen in the ice and uh, that the focus is, is on on that ice and yes. what is melting because we had we had 1600 1700 kilogram ice in that box and we had to fill in another 200 k more because of the heat yes it all was melting and we had to put in put in there. but on the glacier we cannot put ice on it so we need cold winters and there is no no good future for cold winters so i think we will not have the next few years cold winters will all be, always be more warmer and that's uh that's a problem yeah and the european parliament can do something yes they can uh, they can uh, uh, set uh, the direction where we are going in the future so yeah hopefully it helps and it works it's very important uh, i was near slovakia on the border with poland last year mm -hmm in uh mm -hmm. late december and there was no snow it was very mild no snow normally three four years ago avalanches and lots of snow and this year well last Sakupane, year right? Sakupane. 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 Yeah, yes, yeah 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 you've, you've been there yeah in former time when i was in the military uh, i was there for bar shooting ah okay beautiful beautiful place um so in yeah. the military did they teach you anything to do with cold exposure when you were in the in the army or the military <laughs> when I was uh, in the first in the in the basic uh, training, um, I, I had uh, freezing uh, points on, on my fingers, and we were sleeping. And, uh, yeah, and uh, in the night when we had to to defend the border, um, we yeah it was four o'clock in the morning. It has about twenty five degree minus, and it was stormy, and yeah. A lot of guys from us uh, had problems then with the fingers. They were yes. frozen, but that was the only one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, and with the fingers and the toes, please tell me if I'm right, does practice help? Because when you first get into the ice, everything gets too tight and you lose all the circulation. But if you keep practicing, they get stronger and used to it. Do you find that that's the case or something different? Yeah, I had to do uh, because in the ice box, I can use the fingers out, so ah, okay. they were not in the ice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And but now for swimming, I had to put every evening um, cool packs in my hand or or ice cubes, so that I train my fingers now very hard for that winter. Ah, okay. And as more you do, that the better it is. Okay. Pra like doing weights, practicing with weights, you practice with ice, and it makes things more adaptable. Yes. Okay. Okay, and but only it, the fingers, only the the hand. Just the not, okay. Not my 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 not toes. No, okay. Uh, and is there a risk in the ice of frostbite? Is that a, is that a possibility when you do the challenge, or do you not think so? It, it could be. Uh, I had a problem in in the beginning because there were normally you have all some small ice cubes, and there was a big bunch of ice cubes together they, they melt together and were frozen together mm. and that that uh, block was directly on my big uh, teeth ah. on the big uh, yeah and it hurts so and i thought oh, probably it melt very fast hopefully that that pain went away okay. because it was from the first minute and uh, normally the first 50 minutes are very hard because um, your skin temperature is high and it takes only about 15 minutes that the, the skin temperature goes down and then the pain is less right but um, if it's something 
something is uh, not expected, a pain that it is not expected, then it is uh, a little bit harder. It, it is, uh, it makes, it, it is uh, bad for your focus because uh, mm -hmm. you're thinking always on that, uh, on that point uh, where the pain is and normally everywhere is pain and there is more pain than normally. But um, I managed it and yeah, <laughs> it was okay in wow. the end. Um, and it melt. <laughs> and it did melt. Okay, it did melt, and there was no damage. Yeah. So that's that, that's good. When when people go into ice water, um, you can get hypothermia uh, when your core body temperature drops. I think is it is it two degrees? I don't know, three degrees. You can start to get hypothermia. I'm not sure. Sure, but uh, uh, you can get it earlier also. Yeah, it depends on your physical um, on your on your physical thing, and also. If you make a hard workout, then it could come faster. And if you stand only inside, it might be uh, later. Um, so it depends also on what did you eat before or what did you drink before? Is it in the morning? Is it in the afternoon? So it is, you cannot uh, regularly say that's the point. Um, so there are so many aspects uh, where mm. you had to find out also for you when you start. Yes. So, mm. so it's a lot of training and, and for me, that's that's always perfect. I did, I did, uh, I went into the ice water uh, or in the cold water with about three thousand people in in Vienna, yeah. and I always see their face before they are always very nervous. Yeah. yeah. And then I explain them what what could happen and uh, what they should do and all, and afterwards they were happy, like uh, they were parachuting or something. Yes. Yes. And uh, yeah, they, and they went. They come all more often and often, and then. Um, I said to them, went in and feel, feel, don't hesitate, don't be nervous, feel what happened inside, feel what's happened with your body. And a few guys are coming more and more. So they had fun with that and they had uh, fun to have that experience with the cold. Yes. Yeah, I, I met Wim Hof in 2016 and spent one week with him in, in Schneerska in uh, Poland near Czech. Mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, now, still, four years later, cold showers, ice baths, it's, it's something that makes me feel so good. I feel so alive. Um, and especially when I am in nature. So if I'm in a lake and it's early morning and there's some sunshine and frost on the trees, it's one of the most beautiful feelings I've experienced is just coming out of the water. I, I absolutely love it. But my favorite bit is after. So going in, I'm still nervous. You go in, you sit in the water. And then when I come back out, I'm wet, I'm cold, but I feel like Superman. I just feel incredible. Did, did you feel like that after your two and a half hours or were you just tired? How did you feel at the end of your last world record? Huh. So um, I didn't think uh, like, oh, I didn't uh, do like a superhero. So uh, for me, it was... Uh, uh, inner, I had an inner happiness, an inner happiness, wow. and I couldn't show it outside because I was shivering a little bit. But inside, and when I uh, closed my eyes, I I had a very big emotional uh, feeling, and I did it like that. So put that emotion in my fingers and on my in my mental box. Yes. And uh, yeah, I, I had an overview what the journalists were doing, what my friends are doing. So. Mm, I was uh, feeling everywhere and anything and I uh, had the, the big overview. So it was a relaxing moment for me. It was relaxing. And after all, I get some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I see. Vanilla yeah. ice. I'd like to have uh, lemon ice, but I got uh, only vanilla ice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, a good feeling. Yeah. But um, I normally uh, not that uh, who is dancing and... Uh, so I, I took it for me inside. So I was very happy inside. Oh, that, 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 that is very nice to hear. That's, that's lovely. Um, can I ask, what did you eat before? Did you fast or had you eaten something before the challenge? <laughs> I had some, uh, uh, some blueberries before. Okay. <laughs> Just but in blueberries, there's everything inside. So yeah. that's my typical sentence. In blueberries, there is everything inside. <laughs> yeah. So, so just some, had, um, nothing else. Yeah. I had in the morning, I had a little bit beetroot juice 
and uh, yeah, because beetroot is good for your body pressure for the pressure, right? For the the blood pressure. So if you have a problem with uh, with blood pressure, go into the cold water and uh, take uh, um, often a little bit uh, beetroot. It's very okay. Good. Okay, uh, and is this uh, fresh beetroot that you juice yourself, or do you buy a buy a carton of, from the shop? I got I got a juicer from a friend. He has a, a company, and I got them. Mm-hmm. And he said, oh, "Take it." Also, my nutrition specialist, um, and he said uh, he makes now a study uh, about uh, beetroot and uh, what happened with uh, with the um, blood pressure. So. Uh, we were speaking a lot of that, and uh, because there is uh, a lot of uh, um, micro things inside who helps you, and uh, right. yeah. So uh, since since a few weeks, uh, I'm always uh, take a little bit uh, beetroot. Okay, I, I'm going to uh, investigate that more. That 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 sounds really interesting. <laughs> uh, uh, what when you are not doing Guinness World Records? When you are on a normal Sunday like today, what what do you do? Do you have ice cold shower in the morning, or do you have hot showers? What what do you have any practice like breathing methods? Can you just give me some idea of maybe some of what your routine looks like, your normal routine? Do you have any things you do? Don't tell anyone, but I don't like really cold showers, so. I'm not, uh, my shower is not too warm, but I don't like the real cold shower. So I like it cold, but not too yes. cold. Yes. Um, in the end, yes, a little, little bit more cold, but not from the beginning, very cold. Today I was swimming in, in the afternoon. So I did the 2K. The water temperature is now, I don't know, too warm, I think, for that uh, time in the year. Mm-hmm. So it had 18 degrees. Crazy. Um, yeah, we had a sunny day, and uh, on my daily routine, there is nothing special, nothing special. So, the only thing is when I'm walking into I don't know the underground or anywhere, and I feel that there it is too warm for me, mm. then I normally close my eyes and think on, on cold temperatures. So, that's my, my minus contour. So, the good emotion contour is that with. Good emotions, that's yes. there. And the minus is that with, with bad situation where I had to see it. And then I wish I could be in an ice box. And I had that in that box here. <laughs> and when I needed also in, in that big ice box, then the first few things were that the things uh, in the minus box, I put them out and said, now you're in the ice box. Think about that moment uh, there in, I don't know, the underground where you wish that you're in the icebox. So, so now you're in, so be happy that you could be in the code. Fantastic. What, uh, what do you think is, uh, what do you think about life, happiness? How do you be happy in life generally for people? What do you think the, the secret is or secrets to, to having a good life? Because you seem very happy. Yeah, I am. So I have uh, um, healthy children, uh, nice women, nice woman, and uh, I had a good job. So I'm, there is no point why because why I haven't got uh, to be um, not happy. Mm. Um, so um, the thing is that um, if you want to do something, then do it. Don't hesitate. That's everything starts with the first step. So also my career to do long distance swimming starts with the first stroke. So, and if you have a goal, and that's, I think, important. Mm-hmm. As every mental trainer said, set the goal and do it. Take in between some small goals and you will find it. Uh, but you have to decide it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not always good to have someone on your side who, who told you what you have to do or who tells you what to do. Do it by your own. Also, when you go into the code, you can do it by your own. And I, I never take Sometimes I take one, uh, girls or, or boys uh, who could not go into the water. So I take their hand and say, hey, you will do it and do it now one step after the other. And, but the most, they have, I said, do it by your own. You don't need me. That's all in you. You can't do it by your own. There are only a few things you have to think about and the rest do it by your own. And so they are more happy uh, afterwards because 
they did it. Not me as a person told them they should do it like that or any of us. It's on it's all their own. And I think that, that that I have in this case a lot of friends. I gotten a lot of friends because I give them the chance to to do it by your own, by their own. I think that's important. Yes. Do it. Do it. Uh, and I, I agree. Take set a goal and take some action, take some steps. I, I completely agree with that. But, but even though I know that, it's fantastic to hear you say that because it reminds me again that it's important to take action all the time towards your goals. So it's been wonderful, wonderful talking to you. Thank you so much for being on the Breathcast. Uh, you are an inspiration and a real, for me, a real life superhero to do two and a half oh. hours I'm very, very impressed. And um, even though you and I have never met and we're talking through a computer, I, I get mm. such a, a good sense of, of who you are and you seem so relaxed and calm. So, 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 so thank you so much. Um, where can people find you? Do you, uh, do you have Instagram or, or website or something if people want to know more? Yes, I, I'm on Instagram, Facebook also and LinkedIn. And in a few weeks, I will have a new homepage also with my name. And uh, at the moment, I have uh, I'm also in a in a company, Seven Minds. We make some uh, trainings for everyone, uh, diving, apnoe, and ice water trainings. So if anyone likes to, but at the moment with COVID, it's uh, very bad. I have to cancel two trainings in in October and November. Mm -hmm. So everything will do better next year, I think. So yeah. Don't hesitate, and then you will find me and. If anyone has some question, they can write me like you or via Instagram or something. Yeah. So I'm happy when I get good questions and I can help anyone if he wants yeah. to have my, my help. Fantastic. Oh, he's such a lovely person. Yosef, my, one of my favorite guests. So thank you so mm -hmm. much. Um, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this even half as much as I did because it was, it was wonderful to, to have this conversation. And uh, Yosef, thank you once again. And uh, everybody, see you on the next uh, Breathcast. Thanks, everyone. Thank Cheers. You, Mike. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.